Well, good morning, you diehard Daveners out there. Welcome back to another exciting edition of Cyber Shoal. How was your week? You know, let's not forget that the whole idea of Shabbat is to give you that rest in the week, that you know, where you're not um, <clears throat> so involved with the world, but you're involved with your own world, with rest, with recharging your batteries, with. Um, sort of staying away from the mundane and focusing our thoughts on something a little higher, getting into that space in your head where you can like leave those tensions behind. I, I used to know a rabbi who would start Shabbat services on Friday night saying, think of all the things that went on this week that bothered you that irritated you, that got under your skin and say goodbye to them. And now imagine a peaceful field where you can do what you, think what you want. And that you are actually spiritually free, even under circumstances where you may not be physically or politically free. Shabbat gives you an avenue to deal with. So. If Shabbat's good for you, it's good for me. So we're, let's get started a little bit. We've been talking in these early morning sessions before, before we get into our abbreviated preliminary service, which is a mouthful, I admit that, it's a mouthful. Um, and we've been talking about the prayers so that we have a better understanding. <clears throat> I guess I'm a little dry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've been talking about, um, we talked a little bit about what we do when we get up, and we talked about those early morning prayers, and we talked about the beginning of, of uh, Pesuke de Zimra with Baruch Shamar and some of the psalms that went on in that. And then we got into Shacharit. I'm about to do a little imitatio dio, let there be light, and poof. And then we've started to talk about chakrit, and chakrit is in the morning, that it means dawn, chakrit. Um, and the key parts of a chakrit service every day, and that includes Shabbat, are the Shema and the Amidah. And we talked about the Shema and its various parts and how they added up to a brief summary of some of the things we know about God. It's a little uh, theology lesson, so to speak. Then we get to the Amidah, after we discuss who we're talking about, uh, who we're talking to, 
you know, who are our prayers directed to, then we talk to them. And that's what the Amidah is. We establish that the beginning of the Amidah is, re is reminding us and God of our relationship. And that's a tricky thing. We, when the, in the opening three blessings of the Amidah, we're reminding God um, that we go way back to uh, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, and uh, Zilpah, and Bilhah, and all the, the, the fathers and the mothers of the various tribe, tribal heads. So, and they, the God made a promise to them to uh, give them the land and, uh, and keep the people uh, around, alive. So far, so good. And we was challenged on a few occasions, but we're still here. The next is that we talk about how God is powerful. He can bring the dead back to life. And the third thing is the Kedusha, where he says, not only are you powerful, God, uh, but you're good. You do good things. Now, that's the beginning of every Amidah. At the end, we give thanks with Modima uh, Nachnulach, and then we, uh, we go on and finish. Uh, we, we say, may it be your will that everything works out. And then we, we say we thankfully acknowledge. And then we pray for peace, shalom at the end, sim shalom or shalom rav. Every Amidah has these six parts. One, two, three, middle, uh, and then ABC at the end. So what's different is the middle. So today we're going to be talking a little bit about the middle section of the Shabbat morning, Amidah. If we get that far. <laughs> so um, one of the things that you have to sort of remember is that we have, uh, we have the high holidays coming up sooner than we really can think about it. And we're going through all kinds of talks about how we're going to do it and everything. But my focus, of course, is on the, the liturgy itself. And I remember how long it took to go through the liturgy of the High Holidays in rabbinical school and really discover some of the themes and develop uh, meaning out of that. It is the most complicated service in the year, Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. It's the most convoluted Amidah. So naturally, that's the only one some people go to. <laughs> and then they complain, I don't understand what's going on. How can you understand what's going on? <laughs> you can't understand the high holiday service until you understand the regular holiday service, the holiday service for Passover, Shavuot, uh, and Sukkot, Pesach, Shavuot, and Sukkot. And you can't understand the, the, the three holidays, the Chagim, until you understand Shabbat. And you can't understand Shabbat, really, until you understand the weekday prayers. So without understanding the basic fundamentals, people come in and complain, I don't get the high holiday service. Well, of course you don't. Nobody does. I didn't. It took a lot of work to try and figure out what it was all about. Um, but, you know... It'll depend on where you're coming from and where you're at, but this is where we're at. So today is Shabbat, so we're going to start with the Shabbat Amidah. Um, during the week, I'll just say uh, that it's a series of petitions, of requests, and that um, you know, we're asking God to, to help us physically, to help us spiritually, and to keep our people together and protect us. Okay, that's your weekday. Now on Shabbat, if you look over on page 115, 117, and we won't really have a lot of time to go into it, but I wanted to just touch on some things. The first thing is Yismach Moshe, Moses rejoiced. Um, why? Because he got the gift. What was the gift? The tablets. Two stone tablets. And on those tablets is the very core of a good behavior that leads to a good life. And that a good individual life leads to a good societal life. And a good societal life can lead to a good global life. So right off the bat, it tells you 
how to achieve the best possible world. Is they're all included in those Shtei uh, Luchot the uh, two stone tablets. Then it says, V'shamru v'nei Yisrael at the Shabbat. And the people of Israel kept the Shabbat. They, they observed the Shabbat. And that and they make a deal out of that. And that's the Vishamra. That's the one we sing before Kiddush. It's the one we sing uh, on Friday nights before the Amidah. Um, and he, there's like, I know about four different tunes for it. And I'm sure there's lots more. Then it gets into another little paragraph um, that says, you know, because Shabbat was for us. But what about the rest of the world? Well, this particular section here doesn't go into what the, what's good for the rest of the world. It goes into the fact that they don't have this. They don't have the Shabbat. Um, and so in a certain way, it does mark a distinction between uh, us and other peoples. It's something we can get into a little bit later in more detail. I'm just showing you the structure. Ten Commandments, Shabbat, it's ours, and then uh, a concluding prayer in the middle, which is the same in all the Shabbat Amidot, um, and we'll get into that one next week. But it's, it's the one that's in the morning, it's in the afternoon, it's in the evening prayers, uh, it's, all, it's all there. Okay, so with that in mind, we're going now back to page 65. I don't know. I guess it must be hot out when I walked here. I'm really dry. Oh, well, it's warm, yeah. It's getting a little warm. Maybe I'll use the pool today. <laughs> okay, page 65. Baruch ata Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, asher natan laset vivinal hafchin bein yom uven laila. Baruch ata Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, shasani b'tzamo. Baruch ata Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, shasani Yisrael. Baruch ata Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, shasani ben chorim. Baruch ata Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam Pokeach ivri Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech ha'olam Marbish sharumim Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech ha'olam Matir asurim Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech ha'olam Zorkeif kefufim Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech ha'olam Roka ha'aretz al ha'mayim Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech ha'olam Shasali kol tzorki Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech ha'olam Hamechin mitzadei gaver Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech ha'olam Ozer Yisrael b'gvura Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech ha'olam Oter Yisrael b'tifara Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech ha'olam Hanoten li'ayv koach Amen, amen, amen Okay, now we're going to go over to page 81. Page 81. Before you start any morning service, you have Psalm 30. Psalm 30 is one of these wonderful prayers that says, no matter how bad things have been, tomorrow is another day. I think Scarlett O'Hara wrote this psalm. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it's, uh, where is it? In the evening, I go to, uh, we, they go to sleep crying, and in, in the morning, there's celebration. Uh, what does it profit, uh, the loss of my blood in my descending into the depths, into she Sheol, the uh, purgatory-like uh, area that uh, is mentioned in the Bible, 
before you come to a complete uh, death, but we don't go into that. But at any rate, what does it profit for me to lose my life is what it's saying when I could be here praising God. So, uh, and it ends up with this, Hafakta Misperida Macholi. I know I've said this any number of times here, but you've, you've reversed my, my eulogies into, into uh, dancing for me. Patakta Saki Vetasrani Simcha. You uh, turn my sackcloth into robes of joy. Lamanya Zamecha Kavod Velo Yidom. So that uh, they can sing of your glory. Uh, and not be silent. Adonai Elohai, Lord my God, Leolam Odeka, I will praise you forever. And um, so we'll preview, we'll, uh, we'll lead into uh, Baruch Shemar and Pesuket Zimmer with Mourner's Kaddish ending this section. Ikadal vid kadash shemei rava. Amen. Biolmad ibarach ir ute, biam lich machute, the chaye chon, the ome chon, the chaye chol bait Israel, bagala bisman kari vi mru. Amen. Ishme rabam of Rarach, the olamu lomeo maya. Ibarach, vishtabach vid par vid ramam vid nase, vita dar vita le vita lal, shemei de kudisha, brihu. La Ela min kol birachata veshirata, ushpechata venechamata, the Amir Hambi Alma vi imru. Amen. Ye shlama raba min shamaya, vachayim alenu, vi alkoli Israel vi imru. Amen. O se shalom bim romal, via se shalom alenu, vi alkoli Israel vi imru. Amen. And we'll begin Pesuke de Zimra, the verses of song and praise. Um, on page 83 with Baruch Shemar. Baruch Shemar v'haya ha'olam Baruch Hu Baruch Hu Severeshit Baruch Hu Mer Yosef Baruch Hu Zehu Mekayim Baruch Merachim Ha'aretz Baruch Merachim Al Habriot Baruch Mishalem Zachar Tov Lireyav Baruch Hai La'ad Vekayam Lanetzah Baruch Bodel Matzil Baruch Shemo Yachid Chelami Melech Mishabachim for Adad Shemo Hagadol Baruch Ata Adunai Melech Mehulal Bat Yishpachot and we will go over to the bottom of page 85. Romimu, Romimu, Adonai Eloheinu, Vishtachavu, Vishtachavu, Adom Raglav Kadoshu. Romimu, Romimu, Adonai Eloheinu, Hey, okay, and we'll go over to page ninety and page eighty-eight, page eighty-eight, and well, it's a, an acrostic. Psalm, that means it's in alphabetical order, and we'll go down to the Mem, and this is a song, as you've heard me say dozens of times, that was very popular in Israel, and including the time when I was there. Mi ha'ish hechafez chayim Ohev yamim, ohev yamim lirotov Nitzor lishon chamera usfatecha midaber mirma sur mera veaseto vakeshalom fehu mihaishecha fezchayim ohev yami. Page uh, 
92. And we'll do the first and last uh, four lines of Psalm 136. Uh, it's one of those psalms uh, where if you don't catch on to the Hebrew of the, of the first part of the line, you can always join in on Kili Olam Chasdo on the chorus. And there's a chorus after every line, at the end of every line. So, Odulladonai ki tov ki li olam chasto Odule Elohe ha Elohi ki li olam chasto Odulladonai ha Adonim ki li olam chasto Lo senifraot gidolot levado Proceed on page 94. And since we're not doing Friday nights most of the time, is it, no, we still have another couple Friday nights to go, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, so, so it'll be a while before we get to Friday night. Let's do page 94, uh, Psalm 92. We'll do that tune. That, sure. Yeah. Mizmor Shirli Yom HaShabbat Tov Lehodo Lehodo Lahonai Ulezameh Shimcha Yon Ulezameh Shimcha Yon Mizmor Shirli Yom HaShabbat Tov Lehodo Lehodo Lahonai Ulezameh Shimcha <laughs> And we'll go down to six lines before the bottom of the psalm, uh, that the righteous shall flourish like the palm tree and grow, grow tall like a cedar in Lebanon, which I think led up to a hospital somewhere. <laughs> okay, Tzadik Katamar. Tzadik Katamar Six and ninety-seven. We'll do the beginning and um, buzz through in the end of Ashrei. Ashrei Yosvei Veitecha Odi Halaluch Asela. Ashrei Am Shekachalu. Ashrei Am Shenai Lohav. Tila Lehidavi.
Kilatun Raida Bear Pi, Vivarel Kobasar, Shem Kotchole Olamba Ehed, Vanaf Nivore, Yam, Yam, And down at the bottom of 97, And on page 99, five lines from the bottom. Ye hallelujah, shame Adonai, Kinniska, Shemo Levado, Hodo, Aleres Veshamayim, Vayarem Keren, Liamo, Tehila, Lecho, Hasidav, Livne Israel, Amkrovo, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And on page 100. Can we do that Kolana Shama? Yeah, sure. Hey, Robbie, this is one of your favorites. It goes back, Gene Franklin enjoyed this too. Kolana Shama. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kolana Shama. Hallelujah. 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 service that they seem to have taken most of from these Pesuke de Zimmer verses. Uh, third line down on 101. Adonai <laughs> And we'll go over to page 104. And we'll conclude this part of the service uh, with uh, Nishmat. And actually, we'll start at the top of the middle section here on page 104. Ilufinu male shira male shira male Ushonenu rina kamor kamongalab Ilufinu male shira male shira 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 male shira shira kaya Shonin Rina Kamo 
And we'll continue on page 105 at the end of the first paragraph. Third paragraph, Shochinad. Shochinad, my Rav, Shochinad, Please rise, page 106. <laughs> You may be seated. Please join us at the beginning of the first of two blessings before the Shema. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech olam yotzer or avorei choshech usei shalom uvarei et hakol. We continue to the bottom of 107 silently. In Kirke Rahab, in the Lord, in the 
Ben zul al kamal kiin ul khayolam hava. Evet ve daha kolin ul madamashiyat. Ben melakam o zeyin al khiyat hamiti. Mona wait el adon. El adon o kolam asi marok mevorak ve vigo nishama galu ve duvo alehi olam da nirvuna sove vimoto. Hamid Gael al Qayyud Agodet, Bnehed Arbe Qabah al Allah Megabah, the Chudu Mishor Liv Nechizo, Chazed Berachamim Liv Nechivado, Tovi Meorot Jebara Elohim Lo Yitzar Rabidad, the Vina Uvas Gael, Gavach Gvura Nadan Mahem, the Yehud Mosli Miguel of Neivel. Malayim zehim mevikim noga na'ehem zehim amelam zemehim b'tzeitam b'sahasim b'vovam hozim be'yehim arizon kohanam yer ve'chavon no nimel ishmod zala v'rina v'zeher machudah karav Hashem es ba'izrachor ba'avehir ki'zurot havana shem ha'ach no nimlo. Kazi ma'amaram Diveret v'gedula Shavi v'abari v'chayol ha'gohodesh And we read the top two paragraphs on 109 to ourselves. La'elai sheher shav ha'mikol ha'masim Ma'ashvit al-vash ha'kisei kibol yitzhak We're on page 110. <laughs> Magdishim ulmahamlihim Ed shem ha'el Hamelech ha'gadol Hagibur ha'nora ha'gadol Binachat huach Zafar v'avnima Kedush ha'glam Gecha ha'donim v'yarmim v'yira Gadol, gadol, gadol Zerahay tzibak M'lachar et gedodol Vavadim echayot ha'kodesh b'rahash gadoh Minasim l'yumaz ravim L'madah m'shabachim b'omrim Barach v'avon ha'yim b'komo L'abarach v'aditin l'abelachay v'kom b'zmer Urchadash al Zion Tahir v'nizgech ulanu meir al Eoro. Urchadash al Zion Tahir v'nizgech ulanu meir al Eoro. Barach ata Adonai. Barach shemo. Yotzer ameharach. Page 111, our second blessing before the Shema, our love song to God, Ahava Rabbah. Ahava Rabbah Avtanu Adonai Elohim Echem Elagdo Lavitera Chamalda Aleinu Ahavin Lmakeinu Avinu makeinu Vajlam nebhul gechayim Hidera nebhul lamedeinu Avinu avarachavan Amarachim rachim aleinu Vidin bilibinu lehavim Viyavinu haskil ishma Vilimahadu lilamein Vishmar v'lazot Ulikai himer kodim rei Ta 
And the next two paragraphs, just loud enough so you can hear it yourself. It'll help if you just move your lips a little. I don't Page 114.
Middle of page 114. Please rise. Mika Moha Nedar Makodesh. No Radila. O safe. Mika Moha Baili Marunai. Mika Moha Nedar Makodesh. No So Israel, could my be as what Israel of the day of Israel, go this morning's Amidah, the one we spoke about earlier, um, is said silently and standing from page 115, A or B, skipping page 116 till the repetition, that's the Kedusha, and continuing from 117 to 120. Uh, it's a silent prayer. You can add whatever's in your heart to whatever's on the page. The reader's repetition of the Amidah will begin on page 115a, and you can be seated for a little tiny bit. 
Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu, Elohei Avoteinu Elohei Abraham, Elohei Yitzchak, Elohei Yaakov El HaGadol HaGibur V'Hanor O'El E'Achan Kom El Chazad Im Tovim Mekonei HaGol V'Zohar Chazdei Avod Mevigo E'Hol Ivnei Vneim Ramon Jibahal Biyahab Amelech Azel Moshil Magin Baruch Atah Adonai Magin Avraham Adagibur Le'olam Adonai Melchi Bidim Adar Ablozhi Amorin Adal Mechakel Chaim Bechaset Mechaim Eitim Mirachamim Rabim so mech nafim verovech olim Umadir azurim Umikahim ebunadali Sheinei avar Mikahamokabagivurot Umidomelah Melech mimit Umikahayeh Umazmiach ishuah Please rise. One sixteen. Vigara zel zel amar kados 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 kada night zivahot lachar et givahodo ahad vigara ahad gado adir vigada agvad vihim gado midnight zivli umad zira vihim zumadam baruch yom mehiru. Baruch Adonai Vidigadash, 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 Shahada, Vigado, Shahada, 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 Shahada,
Amen. 
Middle of page 119. to a, an end on page 138 with uh, Kaddish Shalem. Amen. Amen. And we will now continue with the Torah service on page 139. In Kamacha, Vailohim Adonai, Fig Maserra, Malehu de Malehu, Kalalamim, Hermem Shadeha, Behold of Ador, Adonai Mehele, Adonai Mahala, Adonai Mahala, Elahavar, 
Adonai owes the Amo Yidrain, Adonai Yvari, et Amo Vajalo, Avarahami, Idiva Virzonica, et Sio, Ivne, Kalmaho, Ivu Jalaim, Ivne, Kalmaho, Ivu Jalaim. Continue on page 140, second paragraph, Be'an Arachetz. Be'an Arachetz, Be'lish Me'kadisha, Kadisha Yakira, Anai Magdus Be'ar, Be'an interesting things have happened this week in the history of the Jewish people, and this seems to be a pretty good week. I was looking over the list, you know, got seven entries, and all seven of them, none of them were disasters. Oh, good. Yeah, no, it's, it's pretty good. When you can say it wasn't disastrous, that's a good thing. Yeah, that, that, yeah exactly. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. So let's take a look, starting with July the 5th. 1857, now I don't know who this was exactly, but Baron David Gunsberg, a Jewish scholar, was born. And um, I, maybe one of you, if you know who he was, you know, drop me an e email. Uh, but it was not a disaster, that's my point. Uh, July 6, 1882, the first members of Bilu, an early Zionist organization, arrive in Jaffa, uh, in, in Jaffa from Russia. What year was that? Uh, 1882. Wow. Yeah. And here's something for the Galicianers. July the 7th, 1836, secular education uh, became required for Galician rabbis. So a rabbi, uh, the Galician rabbis, had to have a secular education on top of a Torah education. So they had to, they had to be prepared to merge those two worlds between the uh, the Jewish world and the not Jewish world. 
Okay, uh, on July the 8th, now this is a big one, July the 8th, 1654, Jacob Barsimon, the first Jew to arrive in New Amsterdam, set sail. I guess they were leaving from, where was it, Venezuela or Brazil? Where was it down there? Somewhere down yeah. in South America. Yeah, and they, they thought they were, uh, they were, they were, they had gotten rid of all the prejudice and everything by coming to South America, and then uh, the, the, the climate changed back in Europe and they weren't allowed to be Jewish anymore, so they went to New York. Why not? They were very tolerant in New Amsterdam. Yeah, well, not at first. Peter Stuyvesant tried to keep all the Jews out. Uh, and then he, you know, we, we saw this little entry a couple of weeks ago. Uh, he tried to keep the Jews out, and um, he sent back to the Dutch Indies company, that, don't let me let these Jews in. Apparently there were some Jews on the board of the company, and they said, you let them in. <laughs> and so began Jews in New York. And eventually, of course, that led to Broadway. So uh, July the 9th, 1885, the first Lord Rothschild to take the seat in the House of Commons. Uh, that would be in England, I suppose. Uh, July the 10th, 1830, a uh, famous painter. I've seen his work, uh, it's amazing stuff. Camille Pissarro. Uh, there was an exhibit uh, of his at, the, uh, at LACMA, back up when I used to live up in LA. Uh, July the 11th, today is the, ah, uh, today is not such a great one. Uh, but So six out of seven, not bad. Uh, but July the 11th, 1739, the Jews were expelled from Little Russia. It wouldn't be till much later when they were expelled from Big Russia. Okay. So, Parsha today is Pinchas. And we're going to mention that in just a minute, though. But right now, let me just say it's a little sad for me uh, to be, for us to be here by ourselves um, in in the sanctuary, and there's nobody else here. Uh, there's a there's a there's a certain melancholy to that, but we, we're trying to overcome it. Um, you know, for a little while there, we thought things might be clearing up. Maybe there was a path opening up to uh, to coming back to normal. But no, 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 no. Um, we're back, uh, we're back to square one, it looks like, and it makes it hard to plan for the, uh, the upcoming holidays, uh, all the, uh, the activities going on. But, you know, you can't say it's too surprising that it, it went back to square one, that things sort of had a relapse. I mean, based on all the things that people have been doing over the last few weeks. Um, now, there are some people who are diligent about wearing their masks and keeping away from other people. Others, not. And of course, there's a bit of a range in between, you know, the people wearing a mask but letting it slip down over their nose or pulling it down to talk, which is the whole point of keeping it up. Um, and there's this belief that a mask exempts you from social distancing, which it does not. You know, I saw uh, an internet meme uh, this week. It said, if the masks work, then why the distancing? If the distancing works, why the mask? And if they both work, why the lockdown? And someone answered it with, if the seatbelts work, why the airbag? If the airbag works, why the seatbelts? And if they both work, why the brakes? <laughs> <laughs> um, now clearly, even with a mask wearing order in place, law enforcement can't make sure that everybody's wearing a mask and distancing themselves. To a great extent, we have to rely on the willingness of our fellow people uh, to follow uh, these instructions to benefit public health. On a smaller scale, you know, without going up to the government or the relying on everybody, we, we can ask people that we interact with, will you please put on your mask? Um, you know, this is the situation where it's called for. Uh, but, there's this thing, and I think it's just here. I, I really do. Americans love to break conventions, and they love to break customs as a, an expression of freedom. But it's true. 
from the very outset, the American nation was based on the, an idea that was mostly foreign to the monarchies of Europe. That, that uh, as it says in the beginning of the Declaration of Independence, all men are created equal. Now, I know that at that time they didn't really believe that in a complete sense and that a particular uh, phrase did exclude a majority of the people actually living on the continent um, back when it was written. But the spirit of democracy that infused the, the creation of this country was an affront to virtually everything that had come before it. And that independent streak still runs strong through American veins. You might remember there was a flag around the time of the American Revolution, I think it was yellow, it had a diamond and a picture of a snake and it said, don't tread on me. Well nowadays you see the same sign, same flag, with the same snake, it says, don't tread on me, but now the people are using it as a gesture directed toward the people who are trying to tell them to wear a mask. So now we have discovered a problem with the American inclination to flout convention uh, for the sake of freedom. In order to beat the virus, we have to work together. We have to understand this is an all-in sort of operation. Uh, it takes the kind of cooperation that took to w win the, the war, uh, the World War II, for example. Everybody had to be in it, whether you were actually in the army or you were home. You had to sacrifice things. People got food ration stamps. You couldn't buy, uh, uh, you know, rubber tires. You, you, there was a lot of things you couldn't do uh, because it was for the war effort. Lucky strikes cigarettes. Remember cigarettes? <laughs> Lucky strikes cigarettes used to have a green pack. And the army needed all the green dye they could get. So Lucky Strike stopped being green and they went to a white package, you know, for, for the war. So we, it takes a lot of effort on everybody's part to get through this. Um, nobody's beyond the reach of this bug. And to beat it, we're going to have to change our behavior for the common good. And before we even get to that point, we have to agree on what the common good is. And thankfully, that's what our tradition can help us with. You know, they say that an optimist sees the glass half full and the, and the pessimist sees the glass half empty. And myself, I like to think of myself as someone who sees the glass at 50% capacity. <laughs> but I have to remind us, whether I'm an optimist or not, um, I have to remind us all, really, that eventually we're going to get past this as a society. I'm very sorry to say that we haven't been able to muster our courage as a nation to prevent more disease and unnecessary deaths. And maybe this new wave of infections and the rising body count that is going to inevitably fo uh, follow will lead more people uh, to be more inclined toward the common good. Um, you see people with signs at, at protests um, they're not wearing a mask and they'll say, my freedom trumps your fear. This is the stupidest thing I've ever seen, I think. You know, uh, no, it doesn't. I have the freedom to wear a mask. You have the freedom to be an idiot. I heard this week, oh, actually it was last week, uh, Rabbi David Wolpe, you know David Wolpe? He was on a uh, podcast uh, called Tikva. It's hosted by somebody named Jonathan Silver. And it's an interview. They were talking to him. They were talking about the future of non-Orthodox uh, movements. And the, um, uh, Jonathan Silver says to David Wolpe, do you think that the pandemic will change the way that non-Orthodox Jews think about America? And Wolpe's answer was, well, let me tell you what it was. Wolpe said, my greatest sorrow through all of this, obviously apart from the loss of life, has been the extent to which even the question of wearing masks has become politicized. And I think that as long as we're in the grip of this inability to believe anything good of people who are on the other side, the opposite side of the political spectrum from yourself, and to believe that the opposite side is venal and evil and as long and he's talking here about, as I receive nothing but articles uh, attacking the other side from members of my congregation, uh, which is uh, Sinai Temple in Los Angeles. Um, 
I get these articles uh, from, from everybody attacking the other side of the uh, spectrum. And I'm not sure that we'll learn anything about America that is useful to be learned. It's only the extent to which we're able to vault over our own preconceptions and to understand that whatever the faults of the people who oppose you, they also have something to say. And their experience also deserves to be taken into account. And only then we'll be able to interact and we can learn from each other. I'll add here that Pirkei Avot says, who is wise, one who can learn from everybody, and that includes the people who disagree with you. You cannot learn by lobbing grenades over a wall. So he says, I hope the pandemic will teach us something, but so far I'm not seeing it. Now, Jews, of course, are just like everybody else, only more so. So all of the challenges that we have with the division in this country exist in the Jewish community as well. Um, Wolpe might have been talking about the Jewish community, but you can very easily just extrapolate what he said to the rest of America. We can't work beyond, uh, toward the common good until we as individuals are willing to think beyond ourselves. I'm grateful uh, that this nation was a haven for my grandparents when they arrived here uh, at the beginning of the uh, 20th century. I'm grateful that the founders of this country d dedicated themselves to the proposition that all people are created equal, and that becomes more and more true as we progress. George Washington, upon visiting the synagogue in Newport, Rhode Island in 1790, affirmed that this nation should give to bigotry no sanction, to persecution no assistance. And I think what he was saying there was everybody gets a fair shake. Everybody, if everybody's created equal, and, and again, it didn't include everybody then, but it includes more people now, if everybody's equal, then you gotta be equal before the law and you gotta be equal for opportunity. And that's one of the things that's mentioned, I think, in today's Parsha. Today's Parsha has the daughters of Slofchad, five sisters who say that my father didn't have any sons. He was a Levite, but he, he, didn't, he didn't die with Korach's people. He, he didn't rebel. He eventually died of his own sins, but the, that's another story for another drosh sometime. But what they called, they said they didn't have sons, but we, why shouldn't we inherit his share in the, in, the, uh, in the land when we get there? And that just speaks to a great deal of fairness. You know, in its day, it was a tremendous leap forward to say that women could inherit land. Uh, and that was something that um, was a big advance in the day. And with that in mind, and Moses talks to God, and God says, yeah, give it to him. Now, later on, it gets a little bit adapted so that they, they can't marry out of their tribe. But, you know, that, that's a different balance of values, trying to keep the greatest good for the greatest number of people. Uh, but it, it was in that spirit of equality and fairness that uh, this story gets told. And that's the same sentiment that George Washington was presenting in uh, Rhode Island. I myself am grateful to have grown up in the American experiment in which for the most part Jews have thrived. It's been the best country in the history of the world for Jews and that unfortunately includes uh, some of Israel's policies. I mean, I can't conduct a wedding in Israel. You know, non-Orthodox Jews aren't recognized uh, for anything uh, other than being, quote, Jewish on their uh, identity cards. Uh, so hopefully that'll move forward as well. So I'm, I'm grateful to be here, and I'm also scared. I see the mess that's in front of us right now. We, I, I'm looking at a nation coming apart at the seams. Our leaders don't debate serious policy proposals. They exchange barbs. Our, our people are told to make particular behavioral choices to protect the public health, and uh, the people do the exact opposite. 
Winning at any cost is valued over the common good and the simmering cauldron of the American culture wars is laced with racism and anti-Semitism and it's seasoned with misinformation and frankly outright lies and as you look at it, you can't help but think this is going to boil over. We need to get back together. We need to be facing the same direction at any rate. You know, the national anthem is hard to sing. It's supposed to be a unifying factor in public settings, but it's hard to sing. So for years now, people have been talking about replacing the Star Spangled Banner with America the Beautiful. Uh, that was a poem that was originally penned by Catherine Lee Bates in 1893. One of the verses that's almost never heard is what I'm going to say right now. And I, I don't think it's in the back of our Sidor. So I'm not going to sing it. Um, I'm, I'm better at backup. <laughs> but it says, O oh, beautiful for heroes proved in liberating strife, who more than self their country loved, and mercy more than life. America, America, may God thy gold refine, till all success be nobleness, and every gain divine. I'm getting goosebumps. You know, I just think that's a beautiful verse. And if, you, if you've never heard that verse before, you should know that when Ray Charles recorded America the Beautiful, he started with that verse, and then went to the one everybody knows. You can see it on YouTube if you want. What else you got to do? <laughs> but let's examine Rashi style, a couple of lines in that verse. Who more than self their country loved. The heroes of which this verse speaks include, of course, those who fought and died for our nation, but also those who, behind the front lines and not in military uniforms, dedicated themselves to building a society based on the common good and not merely on self-interest. They wanted everybody to get that even shake. And mercy more than life. The sign of a truly just society is one that cares about all its people, no matter what their station is. When I am willing to sacrifice what I have, my possessions, my reputation, my life, so that someone else is treated mercifully, then we will have achieved the nobleness that the verse talks about. If I'm willing to give up a little bit of what I perceive to be my freedom and put on a mask, we can get past this. National hymns like this are kind of like prayer. They're aspirational. We, we try to live up to them. They reflect our aims as a society where we see ourselves headed. God willing, someday Americans will put mercy for others above their own lives. And someday, well, it could, it could get like that. I think that this image of approaching life fairly can be helped by some of the values that are taught in the Jewish tradition. Honesty, uh, from Exodus 23, uh, distance yourself from falsehood, stay honest. Learning, Talmud Torah, respect, Derek Eretz, justice, Tzedek, Tzedek Tirdof, mercy, Rachamim. Not speaking hurtfully of others, Ona'at Dvarim, making peace between people, Shalom Bayit. My friends, all I can say as we enter the 255th year since the, we declared independence is Let's try and keep this fairness quality in mind. Everybody. Let's make good choices. Let's make the choices that benefit everybody, the common good. Let's implement these Jewish values in your everyday actions. Let's protect others. 
Let's seek justice and goodness, and, but with that justice, we temper it with mercy because you can't have a completely just society or everybody would be in jail, and you can't have a completely merciful society or people would literally get away with murder. The best thing we can have is justice, but tempered with reasonable mercy. And if we can get everybody on our program together, we will not only vanquish the virus, will continue to build America the beautiful in a fair and just and merciful way and get this American experiment back on track. Shabbat Shalom and play ball. Shabbat Shalom. And now we turn our big red chumish to page. Um, hmm. Why don't I have a page here? Uh, 918. Page 918. And we begin uh, the Parsha of Pinchas, chapter 25, verse 10 of the book of Numbers or uh, Bamidbar. At the end of last week's Parsha, Balak, we saw there was a terrible plague on the Israelites brought on by the Israelite men consorting with Midianite women, kind of a biblical STD, I guess. We saw an Israelite man boldly taking a Midianite woman to his tent in broad daylight, and this infuriated Pinchas, the son of Eleazar, the priest, to the point that he picked up a spear and in one motion killed the man and his consort. And with that, the plague ended. Now we find out that God actually considered what Pinchas did to be praiseworthy, and God extends an eternal covenant of peace to Pinchas and his descendants. Page 918, verse 10. My breach shalom, my covenant of peace. Okay. The second aliyah, uh, Bamidbar, Numbers 25, 13, and page 919 in the Chaim. In the second aliyah, we learn that the man who was killed by Pinchas was the son of a chief of the sh tribe of Shimon, and the woman was the daughter of a tribal head of the ancestral tribe of Midian, both high-ranking people, people with yichas. Zimri ben Salu. There's a whole, um, there's a whole uh, rabbinical interpretation of why he's from the tribe of Shimon and uh, why the Levies uh, maintain their Levitical uh, positions, but uh, we don't have the time to go into it, but it's fascinating. Um, the third Aliyah uh, begins with uh, chapter 25, verse 16. It's on page, also on page 919. Here where God tells Moses to wipe out the Midianites because they had their women trick the Israelite men into worshiping other gods, specifically Peor. When the plague is over, Moses, God tells Moses to take a census to give in, and give instructions as to how to take the census. Thank 
Ka'asher Tziva Adonai Yod Moshe Avnei Yisrael Hayotzi Me'eretz Mitzrayim Aha. I, I have you ending a paragraph ago. <laughs> oh, no, that's it. That's it? Yeah, that's, that's the third Aliyah. The third 20 Aliyah. 20 through 4. Chapter 26? Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, it is. Well, let me just stay, say then that Zev is right. <laughs> uh, and that uh, for the next four Aliyot, uh, starting with... Uh, 26 5. Um, we'll see the lists of the descendants of the Israelites who came out of Egypt. And here we see the descendants of Ruvain by clans. And the next Aliyah will list the descendants of Shimon and God and Yehuda. And the sixth Aliyah lists the descendants of Issachar, Zvulun, and Yosef. And the seventh Aliyah lists Ephraim, Dan, Asher, and Naphtali. And many people are very interested in these names as they're still used today um, you know, as Hebrew names and, and even in Israel as regular names. And they can tell you uh, something about the settlement of the land by the names of the clans that settled it. But if you're not one of these people, perhaps uh, that are interested in these names, you, you might be interested in reading the Haftorah for a while. Uh, it's about Ahab and Jezebel, Ahab and in Jezebel, uh, made famous by the song by Frankie Lane. Um, and it's got Elijah, and it's got the big star is the still small voice. And it begins on page 938, if you don't want to stay with us for this list. Uh, but if you do, a big Um Or you could reflect on one of the fine prayers in the Sidor, uh, you know, the things that we've been talking about in the early morning sessions. So right now we continue with the fourth Aliyah, um, chapters 26, uh, verse 5, right. Ruvain b'choy Yisrael b'nei Ruvain chanoch mishpachad achanochi l'falu mishpachad apalui l'chetzrohod mishpachad achetzroni l'charni mishpachad akarmi ele mishpachad aruvaini payu v'gudayem shlosh alvaim elev shvab meod v'shloshim Aviraham, <laughs> All right. We talked about that last week. That the bnei uh, korach lo uh, the, uh, the the sons of Korach did not die, and they went on to become, um, you know, good people. Uh, they they did not follow in their father's footsteps, leaving hope for the children of leaders we don't like to become good people. We're on page 921, uh, Bamidbar chapter 26, verse 12. Bene Shimon, the Mishpachot, Lin Muel, Mishpachot, Hanemu Eli, the Yami, Mishpachot, Yamini, the Yachin, Mishpachot, Yachini, the Zerach, Mishpachot, Azarchi, the Shalom, Mishpachot, Ashauli, Ele, Mishpachot, Hashimoni, Bene God, let me speak of Tom, let's see for all. Miss Pachar at Sif Oni, the Hagi, Miss Pachar Hagi, the Shuni, Miss Pachar Shuni, the Osni, Miss Pachar Osni, the Ari, Miss Pachar Ari, La Arod, Miss Pachar Arodi, La Ara Ali, Miss Pachar Ara Ali, Ele Miss Berhot, Bene God, if good him, by him ever come is my God. Right. 
And the next one begins uh, on page 922, Bamidbar 2623. Mishpachata Tolai, the Fulva Mishpachata Pumi, the Yasu Mishpachada Yasuvi, the Shimron Mishpachada Shimoni, Ele Mishpachot Isakar Lifudem, Arba Havishi Melevushos Megod. Penezel <laughs> Ele <laughs> Chagla milka v'tirza ele mish bechot minashe v'kudehem shnayim b'chamishim elef u'shevahad meyoh. There's our friends, the daughters of Slovchad, um, and they get introduced here, but their story comes a little bit later. We're on page nine twenty three, numbers uh, the <laughs> La Esbel, Miss Bagada, Billy, Bakira, Miss Bagada, Ki Rami, Vish Fulfam, Miss Bagada, Shufami, the Huva, Miss Bagada, Hufami, Vayuvene, Vela, Ared, Venamahan, Miss Bagada, Ardi, Venamahan, Miss Bagada, Ami, Eleven Avinamin, the Miss Behotam, of Kudem, Hamisha, Havaim, Elev, Vishesh Mayot. Eleven a dal, Miss Behotam, the Sukham, Miss Pacara Sukhami, Ele, Miss Behot Dan, and Miss Behotam. Call Miss Behot, Hasukhami, live good to him. Arba, Havishim, Eleva, Arba, Megod, Penea, Sher, the Miss Behotam, the Yimnaha, Miss Pacara Yimnaha, the Yishvi, Miss Pacara Yishvi, Livi, Live Riab, Miss Pacara Rii. Leave ne havri ha, the haver, Miss Bachat ha, every, La Malkiel, Miss Bachat a Balki, a leave, the shame but Asher, Sarah, Ela, Miss Bachot, Bene Asher, leave good to him, Shlosha, Havahamishi, Meleva, Bamayot, Bene, not to leave, Miss Bachot, the Achziel, Miss Bachat a Yachzi, a leave, the Guni, Miss Bachat a Guni, the Eater, Miss Bachat a Yitri. The Shile, Miss Bagara Shile, me, a Hila, Miss Behot, and of Tali, the Miss Behotam, of a good him, Hamisha, Havaim, Elef, Arba, Megod, a Hila, the good day, Bene Israel, Shesh, Meot, Elef, the Alef, Shiva, Meoh, Shoshim. Okay. And what happens in the Parsha after that, among other things, is the, uh, the rest of the census and the story of Benot Slovchad. Uh, but before we get to the Haftorah, uh, let's uh, have a prayer for the, those of us who need a prayer, those in the, uh, who are physically challenged or with, with either with an illness or with a condition. And uh, with, we have a Misha Barak prayer for them, so let's give it to them. May the source of strength who bless the ones before us help us find the courage 
to make our lives a blessing, and let us say, Amen. Bless those in need of healing, with them to wash them up. There be no love body, there be no love spirit, and let us say, Amen. Okay. Now, the Haftarah uh, begins on page 938. And it's from the Book of Kings. It takes place after Elijah, Eliyahu, has bested and slaughtered uh, the 400 f um, false prophets of the false god Baal. And it's gone King Ahav and Queen Yezebel. How do you pronounce her name? Is this thing, Rabbi, this book says we're supposed to do your Yahu. I guess it's the Haftar after Shiva Sabatamuz. Uh, oh, oh, okay, right, 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 right. Yeah, I was looking at that, there's, there's yeah. Yeah, there's... no, you're right. Um, that's okay. Uh, especially if you prepared that one. <laughs> well, it's here. <laughs> yes, yeah, so this is, this begins, ah, right. I should read this a little bit more carefully, but um, what we're doing now is we're starting the seven haftarot, or the, the, the three haftarot of what they call admonition. That is to say how things got so bad that, uh, that um, God decreed that we should be exiled from our land. Um, yeah, Jeremiah. 968, 968. Yeah, no, I got it here. Okay, okay. Page 968. Um, it's 22 verses. I got it right, right here. Yeah. I was reading from my wrong sheet. Um, the reading is not connected to the Parsha by theme, as most of them are. Uh, the secondary function of the Haftorah is to set the mood for the leading up to the destruction of the temple that we observe on Tisha B'Av, and the first great exile uh, through the period of consolation leading up to Rosh Hashanah. No prophet symbolized doom and gloom uh, more than Jeremiah. He's credited with writing the Book of Lamentations, which describes the ruin of the temple and the degradation of the people. Our reading is the opening of the Book of Jeremiah. It's a warning of bad things to come, no matter how well we are prepared for them, because the people have been unfaithful to God. <laughs> Anemari <laughs> Vai <laughs> He dash ticha, na vila goihim nita ticha, va mahar, aha, adonai Elohim, he ne loya da ti da beher, ki nahar anochi, va yomra adonai lahe, al chamahar nahar anochi, ki hihi, al kolasher es lachacha, ti lech, vid kolasher ad savcha, ti da beher, al tiraha mipnehem, Kid Khani, the Hatzila Khanu Maronai, by Islah Ranai at Yadaho, by Agaha Albi, by Amradonai Lahai Hine, Natati Divarai Bivika, Rie, Hiv Kadetika Yomaze, Alagoim, Via Mam Lahod, Lean Tosh Velintahot, Ulavid Ulaharahos, Leave Nahod Velintoha, 
Play Edward and I, I lay more. Ma tarre, hear me yaho. Ma o ma har. Ma kill shaki, he done hero. Play a mirror, I lay. He talked a lero. Key shaki, the honey. A devari, he lost a toho. Play he devard and I lay, shin he lay more. Ma taro, ever o ma har. See here, no fluach and hero. Ufana have me name, Zavona. But you may not know how a lie, me Zavon. Tip Vat Akaraha, a Halgoyes ve aret, Kin and Ekorehi, Lehomish Behot, Mam Lehot Zavona Hanu Madonai, Uva Uvenadu, Ish Giso, Betak Zare Ushalahim, Fialko Homote Hazavi. Via hal kol areu daha, vidi barti mishpata o tam, a hal koratam, I share a zavuni, vi kadruha, le lohi macheri mishta kabul, ma say a day him, vi ataha, tez oher madnecha, vi kamta, vidi barta le hem, the eid kolashanoch iat saveka, a tehat meep ne hem, penachicha halif ne hem, Va'ani hi, hi ne hi ne da di chayom, lehir mim tzahar, ulamud barzel, ulchomot nechoshet al kol ha'aretz, lemache yehuda lezareha, lechohaneha ulama aretz, venil chamu elecha v'lo yuchlu laha, kid chani nulum Adonai lahadzi lecha, v'yidavar Adonai elay lemor, halo. Lekarati was ne ushalahim le morko, Amar Adonai, Zachar Tilach es and Urahi, Abahar Kilulo Tai, Lechte Kakarai Bamid Bahar, Peres Vazeruaha, Kodesh, Kodesh Israel Adonai, Reshi Devu Artoho, Koloch Lahab, Yeshamu Raha, Tabo. Aliyahim Numadonai Baruch Adonai Lahim Numelech Olam Tzorkol Olamim Tzadik B'chod Arot Ha'el Anem Ahad Ha'omev Yosef Menaber Mekayim Shekol Dibar Ha'vim Edvat Zedek Nem Ahad Adul Adonai Elohim Lumenei Amanim Dvarecha B'dvarech Admit Varecha Ha'koloi Ashuv Rekam Gia Melech Neman Rachaman ata baruch ata donai. Elad eman bechodevara. Amen. Rachim ata yagi hi bein chayin lo bala luba nevesh doshia ha bimir ha biyamin lo baruch ata donai. Misamech ziyahon bivanech. Amen. Saham chayin varunai lo chayin bali ahan avi avdecha v'machut bedavim mishichecha bimir ayav ha vi agili bein lo al giza halai shemzar. Blain Halu, the Kerry Merkavodo, give him go to Hanish Badalaho, Shah Bene Rahal El Hama and Barakadon, I, Magi Davi, Altor of Yalavod, of Yal de Bib, Yomashabad Hase, Shana Dadala, do I don't know him, the English Avalim, the Havo, the Tifaret, Allah called an Ilo, he don't have no more deep lah, the Barkimod, I'll give a rock him up if he go high. Tabi hither lam ba et barachat Adonai Shikahadish ha-shabat Amen Shkoich Thank you, Baruch Tika And we're going back to our Sidor, page 148 where we're going to read a prayer for our country We'll read the last paragraph on the page as a prayer for our country I was thinking for, to do to do No, I had a tune for uh, the Lo Yisa Goy. Lo Yisa Goy? No, no, it's not that one. It's, uh... Oh, I know what it was. We'll, 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 if I can think of it. Ba, 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 ba. Okay. Um, so anyway, let's read uh, the last paragraph on the page as a prayer for our country, and we'll try and get this other tune in there. May this, May this land, land under, under your, your providence, providence be an influence for good throughout the world, world uniting all people in peace and freedom, freedom helping them to fulfill the vision of your prophet. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation. 
Neither shall they experience war anymore. And let us say, Amen. Amen. And um, I think it goes like this. Lo yisa goy al goy cherev, lo yil medu od milchama, lo yil medu od milchama. Lo yisa goy al goy cherev, lo yil medu od milchama, lo yil medu od milchama. Lo yil medu od milchama. Yeah, I know, that, I know that tune. I haven't heard it in a long time. Yeah, but, I haven't yeah. heard that for a while. It's good. It's good tune. Yeah. Makor Chaim, source of all life. We ask for a quick end to hostilities around the world and the swift and safe return of our young men and women to their homes, a cure for the virus, and for whatever else may ail us. And let us all say, Amen. And now a prayer for the state of Israel, page 149. Avinu Sheba Shemayim, Sur Yisrael v'go'alo, Barech Medinat Yisrael, Reshid Smichat Gu'alatenu. Again, Aleha Be'evrach Hastecha, Ufros Aleha Sukat Shlomecha, Ushlach Orcha Vyamitcha Lorosheha, Soreha Vyotseha, Vitaknem Beetza Tova Milfanecha, Hazeke Ide Migine Eruz Kotsheno, Panchi Leme Lohen Yeshua, Vyater Nizachon Tiatrain, Venatata Shalom Baris, Vesimchat Olam de Yosheha, Venomar, Amen. And now, in honor of all of our official and unofficial astrologists, it's time for Ashray. Page 151. <laughs> Dorli doi shabak masacha, ugvura techa yagidu. Hadaki vada odecha, vidi rehidi vladecha, asiha. Zuz norotecha, yomeru, ugdulacha soprena. Sikhira vivraya, vil vizid gadaha, iraneina. Sanum vrachum alduna, erecha pai mugdacha sed. Avadona haila hago, vracha hama vokom asa. Yuducha Adonai koma secho v'chasidecha yivachucha Yivot malachot decha yohom ehero gavur hadecha yidar behebra Lehotia livnei hadam gavurota v'chivot hadar machuto Malachot decha malachot gavurami himlum behemsha decha v'chadur v'adur Shomech Adonai l'cho anuflim v'zo keif l'cho hakfufim Hine ikhle lecha yisaha behimlu v'atano din lahem v'dokhlam v'ito Koteach et yadecha who must be a lecho herzo? Sadi Gadanai, Behadi Raha, Vihasid, Behom Asa, Karova Dunai, the Koko Rab, the Kola Sher Yikru Vene, Ritson Rea, Vyasa, the Ejabatamish Mabioshi, Shomera Dunai, Kolova, Viet Kovarishaim Yashmi, Tila Dadanai, Daber, Beaver, Elkabazar, Shim Kotrol, Lombayel.
And now we conclude the Torah service and head into the Musaf with the Chatzit Kaddish on page 155. Amen. The Musaf Amidah said, um, we'll pray together on page 156b and 157 for the Kedusha, and we'll finish silently from 158 to 161. <laughs>
אם לא חל מעלם, רק ציוחו בדור הדור הללויה. And we end the Musaf and head into our concluding prayers on page 181 with Kaddish Shalem. Amen. Amen. Shabbat <laughs> shalom. 
testimony to the unbroken faith which links one generation to the next those in mourning or observing your sight will in one minute rise to praise God's name with the words of the mourners Kaddish but first your sights observed this week include and this week's list seems to have been left out of tidings so I we generated it uh, separately and instead of being in chronological order, it's in alphabetical order. So just in case anybody's paying attention. Uh, this week's list is Howard Earl Blumenthal, Edward Breiter, Leo Buff, Teresa Fran Franzbia Cohen, Yetta Davis, Rebecca Diensture, uh, Joe Dranch, Alan Edwards, Chaim Arn Feldman, Zena or Zena Friedman, Osana Garcia, Stella Goldstein, Louis C. Horowitz, Mayor Kaminsky, Max Kessler, Martin Krebs, Leona Lefand, Isaac Lazendorf, Serena Lazendorf, Angel Lerma Mailer, Philip Meyerson, Celia Miller, Pearl Mintz, Abraham H. Moskoff, Jean Nemerson, Alex Palmer, Saul Rogoff, Maurice Reuter, Amy Roska, Philip Dan Russell, David Semmel, Louis Silverman, Rosemary Sokol, uh, David H. Talbot, Elsie Weisberg, Herman Weiss, Dr. Theodore Weisbuck, uh, Rabbi Albert Yanow, or Yanow, and Elaine Zion. Mourner's Cottage is on page 184. If, if you were here, I'd encourage you to stand. Uh, if you're standing for Cottage, fine, but if, if you're near someone standing for Cottage, I'd encourage you to stand next to that person to support them as they say Cottage. Page 184, Kaddish Yaton. Yit Kadal, the Yit Kadash, Shemei Rabba. Amen. The Alma Divarach, Hiraute, the Amlich Machute, the Chaye Chon, the Yome Chon, the Chaye the Chol Beit Israel, Bagala, Ubisman Kariv, the Imru. Amen. Yehe Shemei Rabba, the Barach, the Olam Lomel Maya. Yit Barach, the Yishtabach, the Yit Paar, the Yit Romam, the Yit Nase, the Yit Adar, the Yit Ale, the Yit Halal. Shemeda Kudisha, Brichu, Le Ela, Min Kol Birachata, Vishirata, Tushbechata, Venechamata, Dami Radmi Alma, the Imru, Amen. Yehe Slamaraba, Min Shemaya, the Chaim Alenu, the Alkol Yisrael, the Imru, Amen. O Se Shalom, Bimromav, the Ase Shalom Alenu, the Alkol Yisrael, the Imru, Amen. Now please rise for Kiddush. Shabbat Shalom, 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 
Amen. 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 Best stuff in the world. <laughs> okay. Not a lot of announcements. We're looking forward to seeing you all. Um, the Thursday night uh, happy hour is a, a great time to see each other on Zoom. You get to see a lot of people you haven't seen for a while. Well, a few people starting to show up that we haven't seen for a bit. Yeah. So that, you know, that, that's always nice. And we'll be back here. Um, I guess Saturday for Shabbos morning for services again, live stream. And uh, we're, we're working on uh, exactly how we're going to be doing Tisha B'Av. And of course, you know, we're working toward the high holidays. And so keep your eyes out for those emails. They're going to tell you what, uh, what we're up to. Yeah, and they, uh, in terms of our Zoom get-togethers on Thursday, not this Thursday, which right. I encourage you to attend, but a week from that, I believe mm. it's the 23rd, I'll be showing the ankles. Uh, I'll be sharing the ankles, literally sharing the ankles on Zoom. And I'll give you a chance to see the film if you haven't, a little precursor of baseball before the actual Major League Baseball season begins in whatever form it's taking. I understand the first Angel game will be the following day, which is Friday. Um, so anyway, uh, it'd be nice if you want to see the movie. It'll be playing, uh, and I'll have a little Q&A afterward. Uh, and that will be, it begins, I think, at 7 o'clock, right, on Thursday? Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's not this Thursday, but the week following. Yes, but we will be there this Thursday, but it won't be the ankles. Exactly. <clears throat> so, uh, we conclude with Adon Alam, and because we're approaching Tisha B'Av, we have a tradition to sing Adon Alam in the melody of Elit Sion, uh, these uh, Shabbatot. Adon Alam, Asher Malach, Biterem Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom.